Hi, Robin here for Golf Digest TV. First of all, let's check if this lesson is useful for you. Ask yourself the question, do you suffer from any of these very common swing faults? The first, early extension in the backswing. Early extension is where once you've taken your address and as you've moved into the backswing, the middle of your body has got closer to the ball and your head has got further away from the ball. If this is a fault of yours, you'll find hitting the ball solid difficult. You might hit push shots, hook shots, and you'll probably hit the ball quite high and lose some distance. The second fault is hanging back. That's where in the downswing, your weight will hang back in the right foot. You'll probably be spinning your hips open. Again, you'll hit the ball high. You won't hit it very solid. You won't be able to compress the ball. You might hit pull shots and slice shots. Third fault is early release. That's where in the, in the downswing, the club head moves first. You lose the angle between your left arm and club shaft. Again, resulting in weak shots, a loss of distance. You won't get that low penetrating ball flight. And moving forward, a brother of early release is scooping. That's where at impact, the club head will reach the ball before your hands. The club shaft will be leaning away from target. Again, you'll be hitting a high weak ball flight. You won't be compressing the ball. You won't have that solid feeling at impact. Now, if any of these four faults are yours, I believe I've got a good drill for you. One to teach you where the correct pressure points, so the main pressure points are in your feet. I want you to take a, a stick or an alignment rod, placing it on the ground at, that, at a diagonal angle, underneath your right heel and your left toe. These are two key pressure points in a golf swing. First of all, in the backswing, you should feel the pressure underneath your right heel increasing. The shaft will give you more awareness of that. If you're doing that, that will be help, helping you to fix the early extension swing fault. Now turning around, once you've reached the top of the backswing, you're feeling some pressure underneath your right heel. I then want you to maintain some pressure under your right heel as you increase pressure under your left toe. That will be ensure you're transferring your weight. It'll be helping you fix the fault of early release. Your lower body will be leading the downswing rather than the club head. Now as you move into the impact zone, you'll release the pressure underneath your right heel. Moving into your left toe, again, the stick's gonna give you more awareness of that. That will be ensuring that you're moving into your left side, fixing hanging back and fixing scooping. So understanding where the correct pressure points are on your feet and how to move through those pressure points can help eliminate or fix many swing faults. Give it a try.